an emotional and somber night. Family and friends said a final formal goodbye to Alexis Gabe. Yeah, the Oakley woman disappeared nearly a year and a half ago. Police believe she was killed by her ex-boyfriend. NBC Bay Area's Alyssa Gord spoke with Gabe's family and friends as, a, as this painful chapter comes to a close. In spite of this great tragedy, we commend Alexis to the love of God. Dozens of family and friends filled this Concord funeral home to remember 23-year-old Alexis Gabe of Oakley. It's hard, but um, I'm glad that we're here today because um, we're here to lay her to rest. Gwen, Alexis's father, says after months of waiting, the investigating agencies were finally able to complete their forensic work and release Alexis's remains to her family. It was very shocking. I'm like, um, it was just, it was unreal. It's unreal. Many friends and family held out hope when Alexis first went missing back in January of 2022 that she'd be brought home alive. But those hopes were crushed. Police believe Alexis was murdered by her ex-boyfriend. He was shot and killed when officers tried to arrest him near Seattle. Since then, parts of her remains have been found in remote Amador County. Her family says they have 75% of her remains. They're still pushing to locate the rest. This is the only thing I can do, is to make sure, give her um, a proper burial, proper goodbye. Friends and loved ones shared memories, among them Felisa Juarez, who remembers going to school with Alexis. There's never been anyone like Alexis. Like she's just, she was just this ball of light, and I know her energy and her spirit's still here with us. As her family takes in this long-awaited moment of closure, they're planning to continue sharing Alexis's story and seeking answers about her death. It's going to be tiring for sure, but we're not going to stop until we get that justice for her. In Concord, Alyssa Gord, NBC, Bay Area News.